Asian anti-white supremacy white people in my life. I hold on to them like gems because they have had to do a lot of work to challenge themselves, as have anti-Zionist Jews. I hold anti-Zionist Jews also really close to my heart because I understand they've had to lose a lot of friends, lose a lot of family, challenge themselves rather than allowing their life to just be easy and that ignorance is bliss. They've really wanted to seek out the truth, which is another thing that I think makes it really hard for us to have real debate. And that is that not everybody wants to seek the truth. And that's something I thought everybody wanted to do when I was growing up, that everybody was a truth seeker. But as I've gotten older, I've learned the hard truth that not everybody wants to know the truth all the time. A lot of the time, people want to be lied to. And I think that part of that is um, the psychology of how politics play out. Like politics play out the way that they play out, modern politics, electoral politics, especially the way that they play out is through the spectacle of uh, who can lie to you in a way that makes you feel as if, you know, things are okay. And that's really having tapped into the psychology, I think. But a lot of us don't want to be lied to. Um, and I think a lot of folks right now who are learning for the first time about the truth, the, the actual truth about what's going on with Palestine and the truth about Zionism are in that place. So let's hold each other close. Let's hold each other tight, right? Uh, it, it's a, from my experience, it's a beautiful place over here. Um, and it does mean, though, that we need to seek some truth, that we can be lying to ourselves, we can be lying to each other, right? We're really trying to get this right. This is not some hypothetical thing going on in an academic seminar, like we actually need right or wrong shit to take place, so in our analyses. <clears throat> Rosalilia, so true, they can't handle the cognitive dissonance and distortion of their lives. That's real. I mean, the cognitive dissonance, that is a huge commitment. Once, once you've had that cognitive dissonance, it's a huge commitment to see it through because it means it's going to absorb a lot of your life in trying to figure out now what, what the reality is. 